everybody, Lorian here with your December readings for 2016. I'm hoping that December rounds down on a very good note and that we're finally able to kind of put the trials of 2016 to rest and head on into 2017 with a very good emotion. Um, these are general readings, these are going to be for um, your sun, moon and rising sign and if you want a private reading they are on the link below and I know a lot of you have actually asked you know what's coming up in 2017 are you, you going to do um, the yearly readings I'm going to do a little snapshot reading for general signs um, maybe in December I think mid-December so it's going to be like five minute videos as to that um, and if you want actually a personal reading for 2017, I do actually do yearly readings. So you can focus on romance, love, career, whatever it is you want to know about 2017. The link is on the bottom and you should be able to have a look and see what comes through um, for you. But I just wanted to take this opportunity actually to thank you. Just from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your support, your retweets um, or your whatever it is that you do, shares um, on YouTube, for your comments and your reading requests, thank you, um, just for engaging, especially when I was unwell in April and everybody just kind of rallied around and said, you know, sending you blessings, thank you so much, I think they did help. Um, and especially for those of you, very few individuals, <laughs> um, who have just kind of supported me all the way through this year and who have become very close friends um, with me and me with them. Um, you know who you are and I just want to take this opportunity to thank you from the bottom of my heart for making 2016 very memorable for me because otherwise it probably would have been a bit boring and stressful <laughs> and full of health stuff so thank you at least for sprinkling 2016 with stardust. Um, now you may notice that I am in tinsel and I've got glitter everywhere, <laughs> literally everywhere. Um, this is because it's Christmas and I celebrate Christmas. I also celebrate Yule, um, but Christmas seems to have more tinsel and things and sparkles, so I kind of do that. And for those of you who celebrate um, Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa as well, um, not sure of the other ones, but if you don't celebrate anything, Happy December. <laughs> Happy almost new year! Um, but yeah, I really hope December is a very good, positive ending for this year and that you get some good advice and my guides are kind and they give some very good, solid information and good, powerful words for your December reading. Thank you all so much again and I just really wish all of you the most love and blessings for the future. So without further ado and any more mushy stuff from me, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you. Hello my lovely Capricorns, thank you so much for tuning in to your December reading with me Lorian. It's an absolute pleasure to bring you these readings and um, this month we're going to be using the Druid, Druid Craft Taramucha and the Nature's Whispers Oracle cards. Um, for those of you who have your birthday in December, a very happy birthday. Both you and Sagittarius can take advantage of a special birthday offer that's on my website. Just go to the offers tab on there, on the link below, and you'll be able to have a look at the birthday reading special that's on there. So, if it is just a general reading you want and you're not interested in the special birthday one, I do have readings on offer there too because this is just a general reading for Sun, Moon and Rising Capricorn. If it is private, it's best having an actual one-to-one -one with me. Now I did do a special meditation for all signs for December and it does seem like it's a very transformative time. Um, but I'm just hoping that we get some good news for Capricorn. I don't know why, it just seems like there's a bit of a heavy energy and expectation of next year feels like 2016 hasn't been kind to a lot of Capricorns um, so let's have a look and see okay they're just telling me one more alrighty let's see oh okay you're not the only sign to have the Hierophant whoa you have big cards which is good you know it's very good to have big cards but it also indicates big change so seems like you're going through a bit of a not just a transformation this month Capricorn it seems to be very significant for you all okay let's take a look and see what the nature's whispers cards have 
I'm thinking of doing something different next year, by the way. Um, instead of an oracle card, I may be doing something to do with the goddess cards. Um, as you may know, I am a witch, so... No, sorry. They're saying that was just one that fell out. <laughs> um, it may be something that you are all... Oh, hang on. There we go. Catch your breath. That you are interested in. Um, but the goddess cards, I think, may be something that you can utilise for the month ahead. Or I might do both. I haven't really decided yet. I haven't even got the goddess cards yet. So I don't know what their energies are. But let me know if you're interested in that. Okay, so let's see. What are you saying for Capricorn? Oh, that was cryptic. Significant changes in the will of the wind. So it may be time to go a little bit free. Um, okay. Okay, it's weird because they're kind of saying that the wheel should be here too. Um, I'm just going to get the next card. Nope, that's not the wheel. What about the one at the bottom? Nope, that's not the wheel either. So whatever it is, Capricorn is saying that your whole reading could be personified by the wheel. Um, what it is is that I think some of you are on the bottom of the wheel, some of you are at the top, middle, halfway, whatever. You are going through a very important transition. You are going through something which will definitely improve your lifestyle and they do say lifestyle not life uh, but I think you have to be willing to accept that and maybe give up something in order to achieve that because for some reason they're saying health hasn't been uh, good for some of you and maybe personal relationships haven't been good for some of you um, for those others, I think you're really getting somewhere with it. I think you're striving forwards, but there may be an emotional hurt somewhere that you're still dealing with, still grieving, um, and just trying to get done with. It seems like this is the year coming through for you after your solar return. For those of you born in this Capricorn phase of December and January, that you could be having a look and seeing what information is feeding through to you spiritually. I do think that there's a very big chance of development here. Um, I also see, I mean, I know I'm not even looking at the cards properly individually yet, but I do see that this is the time to make your stand and make your plans. Um, I do see quite a lot of emotion coming through for you as well. That seems to be quite important to some of you. Maybe emotional um, support from a friend, lover, uh, ex, I don't know. Um, but let's have a look here. So here we have the Hierophant. I think, to me, I mean, it's a very odd interpretation of the Hierophant to some, but I think this may be having issues with organisations in the recent past. You could have had difficulty overcoming something maybe spiritually you may feel spiritually blocked you may have issues with an organization or a corporation and you're just trying to see things from a new point of view but tradition or something very rooted in your persona is not allowing you to do that um i do also feel that this could be just somebody who you're really trying to get to see a different side of the coin and they will not do it they will not allow you or allow themselves to see your point of view. So you may be struggling with somebody who just does not want to recognise the fact that you have a different point of view or you have coming from that way. But if it's personal or if it is that somebody else, I think that you will be now seeing a change and also that you should be seeing the culmination of a lot of spiritual work for yourself too. That's very important. That if for some reason they are saying this is very important that you keep doing that. You keep working with yourself, for yourself, and try and develop it, because this is the Emperor. Now, I do often see him as a Capricorn, um, but I also see him as a Taurus too, simply because logic and reason rule him. Seems to be an incredibly positive person. Um, also, it can indicate somebody very significant coming in to teach you a lesson, not you know in a negative way, but somebody like a partner or a person, maybe a father figure. For those of you who are so inclined to like men, um, it could be an older figure 
coming in who you know may rule with logic and reason and you may find that pretty difficult to understand it could be something that you're kind of like oh i'm not too sure i'm not feeling this guy or i'm not understanding don't discount him just because of his age or just because of that um for those of you who actually encounter that but i also feel this could be you seeking education seeking new ideas and also looking back maybe over your past year and coming to a, a sort of an agreement with yourself it could actually suggest that you are wanting now to achieve something different and level up in your experiences which i feel is a little bit of everybody in this december it's kind of like oh 2016 has just been damn right strange i want to level up for next year and make a difference so it's, it seems like we're all becoming different but you may come to a crossroads or you may not really know what the heck to do <laughs> um, in order to get that moving because at the moment you may still be at a standstill you may still be wondering what it is you need what it is you want you may be waiting on other people to try and get yourself forward here i think this is maybe a chance for you to let go of the ropes that are tying you upside down um it could be a person it could be family members lovers children uh, friends, workers, a job itself, it could be anything like that. But either way, you have to let go of those people who don't really seem like they are giving what they need to you. It's incredibly difficult to do. You can cry for a day, you can feel absolutely crap, um, you can really feel down, but allow yourself to feel down and then just go right and pick yourself up again. I think that's something that you must do. You need to cleanse yourself from these people who are seemingly stagnating around you because you'll get pulled down under with them and this shows that you actually accomplish your emotional truth your emotional stability your emotional ability even this says that you're able then to really accomplish fulfillment and i also see that this could be another for those of you who are single another gentleman coming in um, to maybe help you with this. They're also saying this could be a family member that you haven't seen for a while coming in to help you with something too. But I also feel that it could be, for some of you, this is a multi-layered card, um, a spirit guide or spirit itself just coming in to give you a helping hand with something. But either way, they want you to assess your situation emo emotionally rather, rather than logically. Sorry, I was going to say emogically, <laughs> but that's not right. Emotionally rather than logically, please, um, because that will be your best serving focus. Um, for instance, again, the wheel. If you're at the bottom, you may not understand what to do. Try and get yourself to the top so you can see where you want to go, where you want to be, who you want to love, this kind of, and what you need to let go of in order to get there, what's blocking you from getting there. So here we have catch your breath. Now, this seems to be, this actually has never come out in a reading before, so I'm really intrigued by this card. I have read up about it though, and I've worked with it myself. Um, but I do feel this is almost like, again, you're clinging onto something that may be very secure, like the tree, but I also think that it could be stopping you from going into this butterfly and evolving into something emotionally and spiritually that you need to be um it could be fear of oh no another year older it could be fear of what those people will be like if you let go of them will you ever get that feeling back with somebody else will you ever be loved in the same way as somebody else just don't fear that it's better to be single in my opinion or to be without friends who would drag you back and who would really destroy your confidence or anything like that than actually be in that type of relationship or with those types of friends um, and it may be very difficult and it may be difficult to step away from the security of a good job or a good situation or a stable situation but really I think it's saying just take a breath calm yourself down and then make a leap if it's in your best interests and the only way to really decide if it's in your best interest is to understand where you are emotionally and it could be that this person's going to help you spiritually and things but it's one of those oh, sorry it's one of those emotionally uplifting months if you allow it to be and if you just kind of jump into the deep end let your inner aries come out a little bit you know um get in there and get kind of you know free and single and ready to mingle whatever it is you want to do um, but just be a bit adventurous i think 
I really wish you all the best Capricorn though it seems like December is going to be one of them months where you know the holiday season could be taking its toll however January I feel will be very good I will be doing the 2017 snapshots in December um, or well this month because it's December today um, but I really hope that you're able to kind of get this movement forwards really achieve things and I am absolutely sure that you will be feeling the benefit of what is to come through to you. If you want a reading, the click the links are below. If you want to join me on Patreon, the link is also below there. But truly thank you all for you know keeping in contact with me. Do let me know how this month goes and I look forward to reading for you soon. Take care Capricorn.